All right, tell me who you are. Brandon Hill, sales rep, Battleground. All right, tell me your Sherwin career path. So I was hired as an assistant manager at the uh, <laughs> West Gresham store and uh, was there for a little while and then became a manager at the division store. And then uh, from there, I was a sales rep out of the East Vancouver store. And then I left for a few years and came back and now I am a sales rep out of Battleground. Okay, so tell us about the first spill or the best spill, I guess worst spill, you've ever seen or witnessed or you've done. So the, the first spill I ever had in my paint career, I was working at a competitor as a teenager at 16 and me and my buddy were taking a ladder out and they had the paint stacked in a big pyramid and wouldn't you know, I turned really fast and took the ladder, the front of the ladder one way and the back one another and knocked off two gallons spilled all over of our competitors' paint. So they lost some money, so that's good. All right, so how do you want to be remembered at Sherwin-Williams? Uh, I want to be remembered as someone who helped others achieve their personal and professional goals and uh, also as a winner. Okay, what is what made you want to come back to Sherwin Williams, and what has made you want to stay? So, the what has made me want to come back? There's a lot of things that made me want to come back, but uh, I would say first and foremost, it's the the people here to work with with phenomenal people who have great talent and uh, who who help others become better. Uh, that's. That's probably one of the main reasons that uh, that I came back. It's kind of funny because normally you don't ask that question. You would say, um, "What's made you want to stay?" And um, I did leave, but I can tell you that uh, the grass isn't always greener on the other side, and I'm super excited to be back. All right, everyone's dying to know what are your interests outside of work. So you told me to tell everybody how much I like to party. So you should. I'm a, I'm a party animal, <laughs> and. Um, I love to uh, fly fish is one of my, my hobbies that I like to do. I work a lot in the yard and then uh, I love to attend my kids sporting events. That brings me a lot of joy seeing their successes in life. Awesome. All right. Give us a funniest moment or most memorable moment at Sherwin-Williams. Okay. So this one has to do with um, when I was a customer, actually not an employee. and. Uh, the first time I had my business, I was in the East Vancouver store and uh, Mark Sissel was the manager. And uh, I was negotiating with him over price at the counter. And I kept going back and forth and he got really mad at me. <laughs> so um, He didn't adjust the price and I left and uh, thought about it that day. And so I came back the next day and I asked to meet with him in his office. And in his office the next day, I actually apologized to him for uh, for getting after him on price and negotiating too much and that I would accept that he would always give me the best price possible, which once I came to work at Sherwin Williams, I found out wasn't true. But um, I know that I am the only customer that has ever apologized to Mark Sissel. <laughs> You can write that one down in the books. That is a good one. Okay, who's been a, as you make a risky turn here, <laughs> who's been a, a mentor for you or a, or a motivator for you at your with your time at Sherwin-Williams and, and what have they done for you? Um, so since I've come back, probably one of the most motivating things that we've done is um, the, the Coof Squad group that we've uh, kind of created and um, working with everybody there and having collaborative ideas and all of the neat things that we've done to uh, help make everyone's lives here a little better, a little easier. Um, that is very motivating and it's neat to see uh, the difference that those ideas have made in the lives of the people here in Vancouver. And um, so that's been really exciting and super motivating. All right, and lastly, what's one message you would give to the entire district? So there's 
I think two things that, that I would say instead of one. Cameron, I'm going to give you a, a double dose here today. Okay. Um, the first thing is that um, I think we need to care about each other and our customers. There's a lot of things that we do here at Sherwin-Williams, uh, tasks that can be mundane or boring or we might not see the importance of them. But when we care about each other and our customers, those tasks take on a different meaning and we realize the importance of them. Um, so I think it's really important that we do that, that we care about them and we make those calls because we care. Uh, I've, I've said before, it's give a crap. <laughs> you know, do you give a crap about the people you work with or your customers? If you do, you're gonna make a call, tell them about a sale. You're gonna make a call to help your your manager have the type of year that they want to have. Um, so it comes down to caring about others. Um, the other thing that I would say is we need to do a much better job of acknowledging people's successes. I think it's super important that when we see somebody uh, have a good day on MicroStrategy, we give them a call and tell them, great job. If a uh, new manager's taking over a store and you can see uh, the, the, all the effort that they've made to change it and make it their own and the store's cleaner, acknowledge that. Uh, many of us are, are married or have significant others. How often do we have to tell those people that we love them? It's all the time. We have to continually reinforce that. And I think if we continue to reinforce and acknowledge the positive things that all of us are doing around here, we're going to create positive momentum that can't be stopped. And so, uh, those are my, that's my two for one, Cameron. I appreciate it. And thanks for, uh, thanks for being a part of the video. And thank you for watching.